Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising. Weekly tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump right, right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the uh, very topic that you Libra are going to have throughout the week, uh, the very theme that is going to be the um, em Emperor card, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, this will be the Ten of uh, Cups. Then what we do have is going to be the positive aspect here and that will be the uh, Magician card. And the final one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. Wow, that is going to be the um, the full card. So it does look like the true time has come, guys, to shine with, uh, with your personality, to shine, to show how capable you are, to shine, to show how loving you are, to shine, to show how, I don't know, how good you are to fit into whatever opportunity or an enterprise comes around so it's it's just a very positive week in any kind of feel that you want to make things happen but before we go there and see how this thing is going to play out let's run the cards one more time so we do have the emperor which is the very topic and the very theme of your week followed by the next one which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the um, ten of cups Afterwards, we do have the Magician, which speaks for the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one here is going to be the full card, which is the Guidance. All right. So the Emperor. Well, the Emperor points that this week you are going to really um, represent yourself very reliable and very consistent type of person. As a matter of fact, whatever tasks and endeavors you do have to finish throughout the week are going to be managed by you with extreme subtlety and with a uh, exceptional organization in a sense of that you are going to sort your things out in a such a way that you are to face the daily ups and downs all right that life throws at you with a, a much more bearable fashion and additionally to that you will be able to create more space for yourself more personal time all right but the thing with the Emperor is as well that you're going to prove yourself capable, prove yourself capable to maintain certain relationship, prove yourself capable to maintain certain career position or capable to be at certain career position if you do want a, a promotion. The thing with the Emperor here and is with such a, a follow up as the other cards, it does point that you are ready to conquer, you are ready to maintain, you are ready to establish your own small empire, all right? And the time is starting right now at September 9th to September 15th, 2019. 
The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, active neutrals. So screw the um, with these two cards. It's like screw the circumstances. You know, screw what uh, it is. If you want to say written for you to do, I mean, this is this uh, combo is very good for you taking your own faith in your own. Um, future in your own hands and start performing in a way that you want to find yourself further into the future. So what I like to say for such kind of a follow-up of these two cards and these two cards in general is that everything is possible throughout the week. It does point, you know, how ready you are to fight for it because one of the symbols here it is the armor of the emperor and when we do have an armor as a symbol it is a time for war it is a time for you to make conquests right conquest into the career field into the career field conquest into into the relationship front as well it is entirely up to you where you are going to incorporate those powerful standpoints you do have okay of determination reliability, consistency, organization, skill, you know, and well, um, an acute sense for managing as well. However, we do have challenges and that will be the 10 of cups. So challenging wise, uh, it's gonna, uh, the, the, the very first in, uh, impulse, uh, it will be rather difficult for you to take on. It could be because you don't have faith within yourself. It could be because you don't have a, a huge self-esteem. It could be because you don't want anything else from life, you know. That initial impulse is going to be difficult for you to utilize on. However, once the initial impulse starts on, then the whole thing is going to become like an in inertia. One thing comes after another. It's going to snowball very, very quickly. But the thing here with the Ten of Cups is that you need to kind of like incorporate the human nature the primal human nature into one's uh, routine, which is no matter how much you have, you always need more, okay? No matter, because that, 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 that's the usual thing. Let's say that uh, one person is single, it likes someone else, it falls in love with someone else, has a crush into someone else, and what that person says to himself, God, please, I just want this, is, uh, this and I will ask you for nothing more uh, for the rest of my life. Well, that's not usually the case. Let's say they end up in a relationship, that relationship moves on forward for the next three months, for the next one year, and then that person stumbles upon a very good job and what that person says um, to apply for a very good job and what that person says please God just allow me to have that job and I am going to ask you for anything else so we do always want more and this is what you need to do as well throughout this week no matter how well you are finding yourself at no matter how satisfied you are or how bad your self-esteem is you need to start asking for more and strive for more the accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands. And that is the difficulty here, the ambition. You need to have ambition, all right? And no matter how big that ambition is, you need to believe that that ambition can uh, become reality and the reality start manifesting itself throughout the week, through your consistency once again, um, um, <clears throat> stand, standpoint of, rea of reliability, skill, which is pointing here the positive aspect, okay, sense of managing and etc, etc. So um, the positive aspect is the magician, which points that you are going to have a huge personal sovereignty, meaning that you get to decide what you want to do. As well, whatever actions you incorporate throughout the week, either towards your career, either towards your relationship as well, they are going to be accompanied with determination. In other words, people will see that what you do makes sense. People will see that what you are striving toward, it's really important for you. That being said, if there is a doubt into your relationship, you make actions towards sustaining this relationship or your partner will see that that relationship means something for you, all right? That you don't want to give up on it, that you truly love them, for example, and etc., etc. Additionally to that, the magician here points that it is exceptional time for you to learn something new, like a skill, like a knowledge, you know, or if you want to say, uh, or if you want to like a, uh, um, um, 
a presence as well. And finally, with the magician, your communicational skills are going to be exceptional. You can negotiate your way through everything throughout this week. So I suggest you to take advantage of that. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Swords formation. It is a active supporters that we do have. So with the Nine of Swords, it doesn't look like that many repercussions are going to haunt you. As a matter of fact, you're going to be always two steps ahead and you will be able to diminish to its very maximum, you know, the margin of error. And additionally it's, uh, to that, the margin of a negative consequences for yourself that are accompanying one action or another. And the final card that we do have for you, Libra, for the week is going to be the guidance the Tarot is offering. That will be the world, the, the full card. So the full card, it's talking about new beginnings. So whatever idea you do have at the, at the start of the week, that idea can and should be attempted to be manifest. All right. Whatever you want to do with yourself, with your relationship, with your career or whatever, you need to opt throughout the week to lay the foundation so that thing can be achieved moving on forward into the future. Now, the world card here says that you are not going to achieve that success you want throughout this week, but this week is going to be a pretty damn good start for you to move forward into that direction. So whatever, once again, idea, whatever concept you want for yourself that definitely can be established throughout this week, September 9th to September uh, 15th, 2019. Additionally to that, the fool points you that should you be, should you feel alone, you know, misunderstood and etc, etc. You can attract a lot of people that are sharing your vision, that are sharing your idea and the whole communication, the whole interaction is going to be very carefree, detached, lighthearted and etc, etc. The accompanied card here, it is the Page of Pentacles, the formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. So, uh, well, you cannot rely on a on an emotional attachments, right? That will be the worst thing you go for. That is the guidance here. Do not make decision based on emotions. Do not make decision based on um, feelings, okay? The, throughout this week, you need to make your decision based on a needs. What do you need will be the uh, substantial quality of what kind of direction you are to take throughout the week, September 9th to September 15th, 2019. So that was your weekly tarot reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.